horses. That's what Budget 2012 does. I call the Honourable Member Kevin Haig. Thank you very much, Mr Chair. Um, it's a pleasure to take a call in this debate, and I think my contribution will, uh, uh, will mesh nicely with that of, uh, of the Minister and of um, Ms Ardern. I'm not so sure that it will mesh all that nicely with uh, Sam Wiltuing as um, a contribution. Uh, the, the Minister referred to the publication today of the summary of submissions on the Green Paper. And I want to take that as my starting point, because while we've had this, uh, this consultation with the public around the Green Paper on vulnerable children, we've also had the Māori Affairs Select Committee uh, con considering what needs to be done for, for Māori children. And I sit indeed on the, on the Health Select Committee, which is engaged in, in uh, an inquiry into practical steps uh, for improving child health outcomes and reducing uh, child abuse. And so many of the submitters uh, to, those th to those three processes have been expressing some degree of uh, bewilderment and, and, and sometimes frustration about the fact that there are three processes. Mm. And I think what this, what this amounts to, Sarah, is that actually for, for people in the community, their lives are being li lived in an entirely unsiloed way. Whereas our, our response as, as a parliament and the state's response to people's needs is instead fragmented and broken into silos. And I guess those three inquiries are emblematic of exactly that issue. And so what we have is uh, a situation where, um, uh, where the challenges that, that people, people face uh, are uh, not well met um, by that fragmented response by the state. Um, and what we need to do is to find ways of working across silos, working in a cross-sectoral way, to address the needs that people have. Because it's, it's no surprise to anyone working in any of those three areas, including the area we're looking at now of social development, it's no surprise at all uh, that the families and the communities uh, that... Uh, have the greatest needs in the social development area are the very same ones who have the greatest needs in health or indeed in housing or in education. And so we need to find a way that it, of, of addressing problems that, uh, that, that addresses those heart problems because those communities are typically Māori communities, Pacifica communities, poor communities or marginalised communities in some other way. And so those issues are the, are the ones that we, that we need to address. Um, now, in, in the area that I know best, uh, in, in health, that, um, that problem that we're facing in social development and in those other sectors is an increasing problem. The gaps, the inequalities in outcomes and the way in which inequalities drive worse outcomes, so both in the causes and the effects, these problems are becoming worse. We're seeing worse health outcomes for the poorest and the most marginalised. And the same is the case in those other sectors, sir. It's an increasing problem and one that we need to deal with. Now, in... in uh, in years gone by, um, I've worked across, across sectors trying to get across sectoral collaboration, and while there was generally agreement that this was a good thing to do, it was typically a very hard thing to have happen, because nobody had the resources to make it happen. And if I can uh, just now give some praise to the last Labour government, in their very last term of government, uh, they actually changed that because MSD had for the first time the mandate to facilitate and fund cross-sectoral collaboration. And so I believe that if there is an opportunity that arises from having these parallel inquiries, these parallel processes going on, it must be this to again find a way of making cross-sectoral collaboration 
actually happen on the ground. And, and so I acknowledge the Minister's recognition of the value of cross-party uh, collaboration. I recognise Jacinda Ardern's call for that same thing. And I suggest to the Government that here is a great opportunity to make something of these inquiries, call on other parties to collaborate for cross-sectoral collaboration. I call the Honourable Member Melissa Lee. Anyang ha